Hi Libra, once again, I was not ready to start the camera and I just did this little like and it started like wham bam. Okay, <laughs> I was literally sitting here jamming thinking about what we're going to do here. Okay, let me see what tarot deck, light sears. All right. What do our spirit guides want us to hear, Libra? was told by somebody that told me what somebody said that I that I've been doing one two three on the clock the angels are around hmm and it's funny because I just didn't feel like explaining myself or arguing about it or anything like that or having to justify and look here justice i didn't want to justify myself like i just don't i'm not in that place anymore like think what you want to think but anyways somebody was like well you have what you have because you do witchcraft. And I'm like, oh. Is that what this is? Is that what Libra Land is? Really? Mm, okay. Mm. Yep. Trying to tell me. The Empress with the Page of Pentacles. How the Empress gets what they have and has made it to the Empress status. They think they're going to tell me or they think they're going to tell you, Libra. What they need to ask themselves is why are they worried about the Empress's pockets? Why are you worried about Libra's money? Just, it's, it's such a misunderstanding to me. I think everybody needs to go through, you know, a rite of passage. And if you put in the work and have that faith, you are rewarded, you are blessed, you get your just dues. That's just what I believe. Um, you can call it magic, you can call it witchcraft, or you can call it manifestation. But honestly, to me, it's just co-creating with reality. Libra, they're so concerned about Three of Cups. How you stay in this celebratory energy. The Three of Cups, though, this is also a coven, okay? We're talking about witchcraft. We're talking about witches. Some of you maybe do belong to a coven, a group, a sisterhood. And there's some type of discussion about your money, your pentacles. I heard accruing. How are you accruing? <laughs> 
You want to know my interest rates? Like, you want to know my credit score? Oh, yeah, they want to know, Libra. They want to know it all. <laughs> this is so funny. <sighs> all right. Slamming you well. Slamming you well. This one. <laughs> Oh, how? With the star at the bottom. It's like, dang, I guess they liked seeing you down bad better than healed. To me, look, look at that. I'm telling you what. The death card right behind the star. You went through the rebirth process. You rent you went through the dark night of the soul, probably more than one, many dark nights of the soul. And it's like they instead of seeing you like this, shine bright like a diamond. The star. I told you they wanted to see you like this. Five of cups down bad. They liked it better when you were sad. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that, but nope. The chariot. You grabbed a hold of this vehicle from spirit because look, he holds no reins to these horses. The white and the black horse. The yin, the yang spirit is the charioteer taking you from one level to the next, leveling you up behind that, the queen and the king of pentacles together, together. A true divine counterpart pairing here, showing up together. I know this isn't our sweet Libra, but I'm reading these cards intuitively. You become a boss, whether you're feminine or masculine. You used, excuse me, utilized the power of your mind with the Ace of Wands. And you took the time to take back your heart from those that never deserved it. And you took the time to rest, recoup, and recover. You brought yourself out of the effing five of pentacles and the five of cups. You brought yourself out of lack mentality or poverty you and yours, you brought yourself out of that and you brought yourself out of depression, sadness, anxiety, grief with the five of cups. I, I told you, you, tr you just trusted. You just trusted. And you know what I, I told that person? Well, it's not really up to you or anyone else to make that judgment call. You know, only God can judge me. That's really crazy because shout out to Tupac and Tupac came up in the conversation like 10 minutes before this actually happened. Wow. And I'm just putting that together as I'm telling you this story. I promise. Pause because I think I'm going to title this reading only God can judge me. Hold on. Very interesting tarot reading we have here, Libra. Yep, it's just a lot of eyes. Again, it's still, yeah, we just stepped into Scorpio season. But for whatever reason, there's still a lot of talk and focus upon you. See how all those wands are heading towards the center? It's like the center of attention. 
strength of your abilities. Some people see you as the lion and some people see you as the lamb. Either way, it doesn't matter. The emperor is here with the five of swords. You know your rank. <laughs> and I'm not even talking physical. I mean spiritual, okay, with the emperor. You know your rank. Look at that. Divine counterparts out here. Empress and Emperor. Whether you're Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine Libra, you know your rank. These people are just... They feel defeated because you continue to rise. Okay? You continue to rise to the occasion. And you don't care about their negative hearsay, okay? With that raven in his ear. Let them take on their own energy. Let it reflect off of you, bounce off of you, and right back to them. They're creating their own drama. While you, my dear Libra, are in the two of wands and the eight of pentacles at this time and this is your advice of where to be where to focus at this time libra two of wands this is plans for the future okay i see traveling in your future i keep hearing leveling up and with the eight of pentacles this is in regards to your money your work sector your career it's going up. I want to read these two cards because I'm being prompted to. Two of Wands. Planning your future. Making progress. Activation. Possibilities. The choice between your comfort zone and new adventures. You will need to make a choice. To really do that thing you want to do. You can dream it and envision it or you can begin to live it. Planning and imagining can have us feeling like the observers of a dream and our action is the only way to bring that dream to life. It's time to choose between the wand that's cozily rooted in the place you already know or the one that leans into the exciting new possibilities. Take a deep breath because self-initiated change can be scary. Yeah, you know how they talk about being, oh, you, they've been confirmed. They've been initiated. Libra, you have been initiated. You know your rank. Spirit has initiated you to Empress Emperor. Okay? You've always been this. But now you're, you're, you are living it. You are this. Showing others who's boss. Showing others what's up. You're self-initiated. You're a self-starter. Like you did this yourself. All these people, they need groups to feel, you know, five of swords. They need others around them to, yeah, yeah, that's what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ashley, yeah, yeah. That's how she's got what she's got. It's witchcraft. It's witchcraft. Witch, 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 witch. And I said, oh my gosh, well, thank goodness it's not the... 1500s at 1441 or the 1400s anyways eight of pentacles libra master that skill you're becoming an, an expert 
This is all about your method, your progress, your patience, your determination, and your soul purpose. Patience and determination are the best ways to ensure your success. Mastering this skill takes time and perseverance. Shortcuts are not the best path forward at this time. Remain dedicated to your excellence and to developing your unique form. Study, practice, improve, and thrive. Put your Meraki, your love, your soul, and your energetic essence into your work and bring it in a consistent, meth methodical way. Perfect your craft. Imbue joy into the repetitive things that you find yourself doing. Find flow in the details, no matter what it is that you find yourself dedicated to. And if you know it's time to move on to something more inspiring, find your plans to do so. Two of Wands, make those plans to make that move. Consistent action is called for and often we feel blocked right before we expand into new levels. I can't make this up. It's okay to be imperfect as you learn. As you become the master, find joy in your self-improvement to help you get there. With your loving determination, I persevere and I become the person I long to be. You're becoming the person you've always wanted to be. And you know what? It has nothing to do with anyone else. Oh. The truth, you know, the truth of who you are and how you live, how you live your life always comes about eventually. 1717 17 on the clock. But only God can judge Libra. I just talked about keeping your you know, I said, well, that's not how, um, number one, it's so crazy to me that hardcore, you know, not all obviously, but some hardcore religious people or hardcore Christians, um, are so, so, so judgmental when Jesus, Jesus was the total opposite and taught that not to be judgmental. I think people believe that it's like but I listened to, you know, I I did the right thing. I worked hard and my nine to five or my, okay. And I, I worked 7 PM to 7 AM for 11 years at a hospital. I've done the freaking work too. Just because you chose to stay there. Okay. And not ever <laughs> take a leap of faith. Don't let others make you feel bad about your life and your pursuit in this life of your dreams because they failed to pursue their own or they didn't have any of their own, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. Don't let others make you feel bad, okay? That's the point I'm getting, trying to get at. This is so interesting. I didn't know what this reading was going to be about, but here we are. Let's get the energy oracle just to see the energy around you at this time. Get some advice for Libra. Three 
Three Shuffles, one more. Archangel Metatron come through. Earth Angel Energy. Enoch. Come through. Emerald Tablets. Come through. That's what I'm hearing. Angel of Strength again. Look at that lion. You've been so strong throughout so much, Libra. Not only the pain that people knew you were going through, but you've also been strong through attacks, spiritual attacks. Okay? And also possibly health problems that you never shared with people. Or that people, you know, didn't really know about you. You know, people can look healthy on the outside. And have not be that healthy on the inside. I think the message here, you know. And because you've stayed so strong and so loyal to source, okay. You will continue to be blessed, Libra. I'm hearing for the rest of your days, cornucopia. Walking away at the bottom. Look how lit you are. No wonder they can't keep Libra's name out of their mouth. Look how beautiful. Just shine. You light up any room you walk in. I promise you, you do. And people hate to see you go, but love to watch you leave, Libra. <laughs> Let's read Cornucopia and Angel of Strength. Angel of Strength says to you, Libra, this amazing angel brings the news that this is a time of increasing power for you it's not the time to be passive or submissive speak your truth take action on your own behalf you are capable of taking greater control and directing your own destiny for the power that comes from within reaches out to the universe and beyond inner strength and unlimited resourcefulness flow through you at this time helping you to create real results. Call upon this wonderful angel and on your own inner resourcefulness to bring you the focus and resolve to do what's necessary in order to make your dreams a reality. The focus here, Libra, on your dreams. Cornucopia. Wish fulfillment. The payoff. An abundant harvest and great blessings are waiting for you. And you may even find all of your wishes fulfilled. This cornucopia of gifts from the universe can come in the form of financial riches, job fulfillment, romantic love, or all of the above. When you receive the cornucopia, you know that you've done important work and it's about to pay off. The seeds you've planted in your energy and in your life are ready to be harvested. Get ready. A great feast of abundant value is being prepared for you now. And spirit is applauding all of your effort. And again, another card of harvest is the Three of Cups. And remember, we saw this twice. I talked about it on the bottom of the deck and I shuffled a lot and then it wanted to come out. I just saw it peeking out. You know, this is the only part of the card I see and I saw it peeking out of the deck and I pulled it out. It wants to be spoken about as well. So let's read this Three of Cups and we're gonna end off with a secret garden message. Three of Cups, friendships, abundance, cooperation, 
closeness with siblings, joy, communication. Confirmation. Did you hear that motorcycle? Confirmation on the communication. <laughs> Incoming, Libra. Communication about a celebration. This is also new soul contracts, meaning your soul tribe, a friend group, okay? Or this could also be work acquaintances that become good friends, part of your soul tribe. Or this is a soulmate soul contract. Love. Remember, all of the above. This is about the packs you run with and the kindred connections you forge. They are not always defined by blood, yet they are your living and breathing support system. Like you are Libra land to me and like I hope that this community is to you. Deep friendships are the family we choose and these sacred connections are to be cherished and nurtured. In the best and worst of times, your companions serve as mirrors. This is so weird because I look down at my phone and in the middle of this reading, my best friend was calling me, who I call my soul sister, along with some of my Libra and soul sisters here. This is, this is that, this, or this is like a brotherhood for my masculines, you know, a couple of your real ones, a couple real dudes, a couple of your real homies, okay? This mutually loving and beneficial bond carries vibrational attractions that are often ancient. Any setbacks arising from miscommunication or disharmony with others may be old wounds or patterns that are resurfacing now to be healed. If an important connection has gone awry, it may be time to make amends. If you need to commit more energy to cultivating friendships, trust your heart to lead you. I connect into this sacred siblinghood and into this expansive experience, experience of witnessing through time. Wow. So these new soul contracts, either this partner or these new soul tribe partners, you guys have traversed lifetimes together. You have traversed the landscape of life and time together. This isn't your first go around. This isn't your first life as friends, as soulmates. We Libra, what a read. Awesome sauce. I just saw 28, 28 on the clock. Please give this reading a big thumbs up if you found messages here. One more card for Libra. Share. The busy bee should still make time for each flower. With self-care, though. <laughs> That's so funny. Share and self-care. Tend to your garden. So this is, again, a balance between taking care of yourself, but also sharing your time. Stay balanced, Libra. Stay blessed, my friends. Until next time. Peace. You know what to do.